Good day, everyone. Today, we are going to learn teaching grammar from examples. Remember that last time we've discussed teaching grammar from rules. And just like last time, this is the continuation of our discussion. We are going to discuss about going to. Okay, let's have a recap. Going to is, okay, next slide, please. The use of going to is it acts as an indication or intent to do something in future. But it has connection to the present. Again, going to is usually acts as an indication or intent to do something in the future. But it has connection to the present. Okay, next slide, please. So, we have here going to in the use of past tense in every sentence. Okay, for our first sentence, may I call on Mr. Carlitos to read? Thank you. How about the second sentence, Ms. Renz? They were going to get a sofa set. For the living room. Thank you. For the third sentence, I was going to the mall when the earthquake happened. And for our last sentence, please read again, Mr. Carlitos. You were going to be the last person to present the team. Okay, thank you. Now, in this sentence, there was an indication that something is going to happen, but then it did not happen. Okay, again, in these sentences, there was something that is about to happen, but then it did not. Okay, it's like uh, you were planning, but um, apparently your plan did not work. Okay, next, next slide, please. Okay. So now we have here the structures of going to in different sentences. Okay, next, next slide, please. Okay, in here we have, she was going to be my partner for the wedding. So the structure for this um, sentence is subject plus was or were plus going to plus verb. Again, in here, the, the structure is subject plus was and where plus going to and verb. In here, the subject is she plus was. In here, we have going to and then the verb, which is the be, be, the, be my partner, okay? Next, in here, we have again the same structure, subject, that's was, was and were, going to, and verb. In here, the subject is I. Then, was or were, plus going to, and the verb here is sleep. I was going to sleep at my new room earlier. Again, I was going to sleep at my new room earlier. Now, in the new sentence, in the third sentence, kindly read it, please, friends. We were going to build a tree house, but the tree fell because of the typhoon. Okay. Notice that there is an additional, like, clause in the sentence. We are going to build a tree house, but the tree fell because of the ty typhoon. Now, the, the sentence structure is subject plus was or were plus going to plus verb. And there is an additional word which is the but. Okay? Notice that there is a word there, the but, and it follows another set of sentences. So again, the sentence structure is subject plus was or were plus going to plus verb, plus but. Okay, now we have here another example. 
I am going to read this and Mr. Carlitos kindly identify the sentence structure of the sen of this sentence. Okay. My father was going to his work but pretty refused because he was sick. Again, my father was going to his work but we refused because he was sick. Where is what is the subject in this sentence? Great. Then it is followed by the word was plus going to and please identify the verb. Okay, so I think Mr. Carlitos lost his connection, but then the going to his the going to already already acts as a as the verb in that sentence, and then it is followed by but again it is followed by another set of words. It is the but we refuse because he was sick. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, for your activity, you are going to determine the sentence structure by typing A if the sentence has subject plus was or were plus going to plus verb structure or type B if it is subject plus was or were plus going to plus verb plus but. Okay, now Let's move on to our first sentence. Okay, let's maximize the use, of, the use of our chat box. Now we have here the first sentence. She was going to be a dean's sister, but she got a 2.5 in one of her subjects. Kindly type in your answer, please. Is it A or is it B? Thank you. That's right. It is letter B because it has a structure of subject plus was or verb plus going to plus verb plus but. Okay. Next sentence, please. For the next sentence, I was going to buy a new cell phone because the old one was broken. Can you type in your answers, answers please? Correct. That is letter A, in which we have subject plus was or were plus going to plus verb. Okay, for our third sentence. We were going to enjoy watching the play. Okay, type in your answer. Again, we were going to enjoy watching the play. Very good. We have subject plus was or were plus going to plus verb. Okay, thank you. For our fourth sentence, okay, for our fourth sentence, the teacher was going to the faculty room, but her students got into a fight. Okay, kindly type in your answers, please. Very good. It is letter V in which subject was or were plus going to, plus verb, plus but. And for our last sentence. Okay, for our last sentence, we have here, I was going to ask you in a date, but I should ask your parents first. I was going to ask you in a date, but I ask you first. Okay, kindly type in your answer. I think you got I think you already understand our lesson and your answers are all correct. Thank you. Now let's move on to the next part of the lesson. Now we have the going to in the use of tense in 
every sentence. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, I have here another sentence. Kindly read it, Mrs. Renz. I am going to take an exam tomorrow. Okay, I am going to take an exam tomorrow. Okay, next slide, please. Wait, wait, I think I... Okay, for the next sentence, we have here, she is going to see a doctor for her annual checkup. Okay, she is going to see a doctor for her annual checkup. And next, kindly read it, Mr. Carlitos. Thank you. He, his brother is going to take the board exam next year. And for our last sentence, my grandmother is going to visit us on summer. My grandmother, my grandmother is going to visit us on summer. Notice that says our, our indicates future tense or it indicates plans in the subjects the subjects has um like um plans on doing the verb that is indicated in every sentence now we have here um uh, another set of sentences okay now in this part of sentences it is the positive sentences it is what we call the positive ones because it uh it indicates agreement or, you know, uh, just like it is a positive because it does not have um, negatives, like negative indications that we are going to tackle on the next part. Okay, for this sentence, uh, she is going to see her friends. Again, she is going to see her friends. Okay, there is no other interruptions in the sentence. It's just... The subject is going to see her friends, okay? Miss friends, kindly read the next sentence. We are going to take the subject next semester. Okay. This sentence is simply simple that the subject is going to take the subject next semester. Now we have here another sentence. They are not going to come home tonight going to come home tonight okay in here there is another word added in the sentence structure the word not indicates disagreement in which in which makes the sentence negative again if there is an there is a word that indicates disagreement it makes the sentence negative so next please In here, um, okay, I'm going to read. I am not going to wear those shoes again. I am not going to wear those shoes again. And another, um, another indication that the sentence is negative, that is the word not. Maybe that shoes um, irritates her feet. That's why she is not going to use the shoes again. Next slide, please. Okay, it's another feature tense. Now here, um, going to in the form of questions. Have who is going to attend the practice on Saturday? Who is going to attend the practice on Saturday? This, this word going to is not only used in simple sentences but can also be used in questions okay next example please okay we have here am i going to repeat the question class we all we often we often hear this on our teachers just like in every discussion am i going to repeat the question class right and here we have the sentence going to next please 
okay we have here is it going to last a long for a long period of time is it going to last for a long period of time okay basically it uh, it indicates a question the going to indicates a question acts as an indication in that set, in that question now again uh I hope everyone is um, knowledgeable enough in this uh, in this part of our lesson. So we, I have prepared you in a activity. Next slide, please. Okay. In this activity, you are going to write the proper verb forms in each sentence. Again, in this activity, you are going to write the proper verb forms in each sentence. Next slide, please. So in number one, we have here another example. Let me answer this first and maximize the use of our chat box in your answers, for your answers. Okay. I take blank the call for you. Okay. Transform this sentence to I am going to take the call for you. Or it could be, I was going to take the call for you. Or you could uh, you could transform it in a negative sentence. And just like, I am not going to take the call for you. Okay, for our second, um, second item, please type in your answer. She looked. Um, blank for her missing dress. Kindly type in your answers, please. Okay, thank you so much for your answer, Carlitos. So, he, he answered, she was going to look for her missing dress tomorrow. He added another word. Thank you. And Renz also answered, answered, she is going to look for her missing dress. Thank you. That's correct. Now for the third uh, third sentence, may I call on Mr. Carlitos to answer, to give, to give us his answer. Mr. Carlitos? Okay, seems like Mr. Carlitos lost his internet connection. Now, may I call on Ms. Renz to give us her answer? For the number three, my answer is they are not, they did not plan going to a Hong Kong trip. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. We could also use the going to in that kind of pattern. Okay. And for our fourth sentence, kindly type in your answer. The ice melt black when take out in the freezer. Okay. Okay. Your answer is correct. So the ice is going to melt when take out in the freezer. Again, it is... The ice is going to melt when take out in the freezer. Okay, thank you for your answers. Now we have here the last, uh, the last item. Again, Mr. Carlitos, are you there? Okay. Um, seems like he he lost he he still doesn't have the connection. Now for the last sentence, kindly type in your answer answers so we play in the new theater soon we play in the new theater soon can i answer ma'am yes please thank you we are going to play in the new theater soon thank you so we could use this sentence that in the in the sentence structure uh, we are going to play in the new theater soon thank you now for our for our assignment have here 
Okay. Thank you. Now, before moving on to our assignment, um, do you have any questions so far? None, ma'am. None so far. Okay. Thank you for your answer, Ms. Renz. So, for your assignment, you are going to turn these sentences into questions by using question word plus to be plus subject plus going to plus verb. Okay. Um, you are go again. You are going to turn these sentences into questions by using question word plus to be plus subject plus going to plus verb. Remember that to be is uh, always followed by going to. It's like an indic. It's only an indication. Okay. Next slide, please. So these are the sentences. Kindly read, um, Miss Rens, all of it. Um, <clears throat> number one, the teacher is going to give an assignment to her students. Number two, I am going to use my favorite, favorite lipstick for our dinner. Number three, the man is going to jail because he stole the car. Number four, our home is going to be filled with love and joy. Number five, my dogs were going to join the pet's fashion show. Thank you. So that would be all for today and... The, the and your assignment will be posted on your Google Classroom. And if you have any questions, just uh, send me a message on my email or in my messenger account. And then, okay, that's all. And if you have any clarification, just and that would be all, class. Thank you for today, and see you on our next meeting. Thank you, ma'am.